Hey there, everybody. We've, We've got, got some, some big, big announcements, announcements for July. July. First up, can you believe it? It's Morgan's Comics' sixth anniversary. Mm. So we're going to be celebrating. Technically, it's on Friday the 12th, and yep. we're going to celebrate that all weekend. So come and play with us and celebrate Western North Carolina's first female-owned comics and collectible shop. Yeah. So we're going to have a book signing for his new comic book that just came out. It's Dan Jaworski's book. So come see him. That's on Saturday, July 13th from 12 to 4. Come get a signed copy. Awesome local arth author and artist, Dan Jaworski's new book. So excited. Yeah. We've been looking forward to this. And it's awesome. I yes. read it myself. Yes. Awesome. Next up, we've got Gang Gar's Gang is now an official Pokemon lead, making Morgan's Comics an official Play Pokemon store. Yes. So with details about that is your Pokemon professor, Matt. Yes, all my Poke Pals, welcome to Gengar's Gang, official Pokemon League at Morgan's Comics now. So we'll be doing that the same night so far, Wednesday, we'll say like 5 to 8.30. If you have your Pokemon player ID starting next week, the 17th, is when we'll start actual League. Bring your player ID so we can log you in and so you can get credit for your matches and everything which lead up to possible prizes that you can get through league play. We're really excited about this. We've been working on it for a long time, but now you guys are going to get your credit for playing this awesome game. And once we do that, we'll be able to have tournaments, we'll be able to have pre-release all right here in West Asheville. So excited about it, guys. Well, wow, are we going to get any We are. We're going to yeah. work on some uh, Gengar's Gang t-shirts, maybe some like hoodies for the winter. So we'll start taking like uh, sign-up sheet pre-orders for those. We'll come up with a pretty sick design. Right. I know y'all will love them. Absolutely. Yes. So after that, guys, we have so many things going on in July. Of, the next one up is going to be Disney Trivia, and that's happening Friday, July 19th from 6.30 to 8.30. So come on out and let Bert test you on what you know about Disney. Man, it's a tough one. So we have a few fans of Disney here that are totally, totally in it to win it. Yes. And then after that, we're going to have another Nerd Goth Dance Night Party, which are always fun. That's going to be July... 28th from 8 p.m. We'll say till 1 a.m., but it's yeah. kind of until whenever we get tired. Yeah. So come, black out the store with us and have an awesome dance party. And this is our 121 and up event, guys. Uh, so the windows nice will be completely blocked out. There'll be snacks and treats and everything. Come out and dark wave it up with yeah. us. Next up, after that, it's finally time to go and see the Deadpool Wolverine movie that we've all been waiting for. That movie night nerd expedition is going to be for Sunday, August 4th at 7.15. Yes. So come on out and come and see Deadpool and Wolverine. Yes. Yeah. All right. For this one. And now, for the comments. What lies beneath? Hulk and Banner's quest to save Charlie's soul leads them through the Old West town of Old Tucson. Population of one. But the last man in town has a heck of a story to tell. Before the night ends, Hulk and Banner will learn that there's a lot more than meets the eye in old Tucson, and that there's a lot more under the desert floor than either of them could have guessed. Don't miss this spine chilling chapter of the Blood Hunt event. Hulk, Blood Hunt number one. Barfly number one. Spinning out of the world of the hit Minor Threats, superhero series by Patton Oswalt, Jordan Bloom, and Scott Hepburn comes a new tale of costumed underdogs, featuring a low-level henchman without a leader to serve. The Lower Layer Bar is home to all sorts of supervillains, lowlifes, and scumbags, but only one of them has to puke digestive fluids onto his food to eat. Eater. The humanoid mutant fly is a loser, a lifelong minion who lives to serve his criminal master. But what happens to a henchman when he no longer has anyone left to hench for? In 1988, DC fans made a seminal choice in the history of DC publishing, voting to kill off Jason Todd's Robin in the Death in the Family storyline. Now, for the first time, we want to find out what would have happened if fans had voted to let him live. And it begins with the murder of Joker. Death in the family, Robin lives, number one. 
Kill All Immortals number one. A thousand years ago, Viking explorer Eric the Red and his four adult children discovered a mysterious source of immortality. Now in our modern world, they are an enigmatic billionaire family with a powerful banking empire. But when Eric's only daughter, Frey Asvald, seeks to finally be free of her family's influence, she must be prepared to reveal their supernatural secrets and confront her well-trained siblings in a deadly and epic struggle for power. Thank you for watching the Morgan's Comics Monthly Update. Can't wait to see you at Gengar's Gang and all the other things. Come out this week Six and it's years. So Of you guys. 